All right, hey guys, what's up? I'm back, and today uh, I had to make a little bit of an emergency video here as I move my computer thingy my Hoover back. Yay! Um, while I get this all reconfigured, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, let's uh, jump right back into it. So, you guys have probably heard the news that the Cleveland Indians are... Oh, sorry, fix the camera orientation. Cleveland Indians are planning to change their name from the Indians to the Cleveland Guardians as of the end of their 2021 campaign. Now, that could be end of the playoffs, could be end of the regular season, could be whenever. Now, this is not the first name change that we've seen coming from Native American racism in America. The first one was the Washington Redskins change to the Washington football team. And so now we got two. And I just think it's time for me to, to throw my name in the ring here and tell you guys why these name changes are stupid. For one, they're unnecessary. And... Why they don't even matter. So let's move into it. So first off, these name cho choices, okay? First you got the Washington football team, okay? You had months and months and months to pick a correct name, a right name to pick. And you picked the Washington football team. Really? Really? That's what you could come up with? Huh? I guess something else to that... Uh, Dan Snyder, Dan Schneider organization. But, um, completely, complete laziness on their part to not come up with a good name. That, though, does not compare to the Cleveland Guardians, which sound more like a Little League basketball team straight out of a Cleveland suburb than a professional baseball team in downtown. You could have easily just gone, followed Washington's lead and done the Cleveland baseball team, and that would have worked better here than the Cleveland Guardians. I heard the Spiders was up for names. Fuck, if anybody wants to go around in a spider costume on field night in like 100 degree heat, but that would have been better than Guardians. And then I get somebody saying, oh, and when you split them apart, it makes it look like they're saying GG. Well, that just means they're giving up. You had a World Series contender team not more than five years ago, and you're already giving up by changing your name. What the hell? What the hell? First off, okay, so yeah, name changes, they're bullcrap. You guys pick horrible names to change your names to. But what? This isn't even necessary. This isn't even a necessary thing to do, okay? So the reason why they're having to change these names and the reasons why more names will probably have to be changed because you still got Atlanta, you still got the uh, the Braves, you still got Chicago Blackhawks, you still have the Kansas City Chiefs, okay? Plus, you got all the ones below the professional level, like colleges. Um, there's thousands of colleges with these names, high schools even, okay? And these, like, travel team programs that have these names, okay? So there's plenty of these to come. These aren't These aren't going away. Because they're ultimately very popular with the left. But, um, go back to the Discord server. You want to read this for yourself. Go to the uh, Blue Shock Sports Chat in the Pringleson Discord and go follow that right now. But, so basically, when I was informed on this, it was... So, this and the Washington change are both because they people assuming that... The Native American heritage, people of Native American heritage here in the United States are offended by the names. Now, this is completely justified. I will say that maybe some of the traditions, some of the mascots, some of the things like that, those are racist. Those need to be changed. But honestly, it shouldn't come from people that aren't of the heritage here, okay? It should come from the people that in the group that are presumably being offended. And what I did for my research, and what I dug up mostly about the Washington change, because the Cleveland change just happened, but mostly about this Washington change was that, sure, a couple people were maybe not 
font of the name, but they didn't care enough to where it needed to be changed, go through all that stuff. Because it's not just changing a name, it's completely rebranding your team. New merchandise, new sign, new field logo, new jerseys, new all this stuff that costs money to change the name. Now, if there's a constant uproar for it, there you go. You kind of have to change it. But here, they really didn't have that problem, I, I as far as I could see. They didn't really have that problem. Um... And the problem is they're forced to do this. When the name is brought up on social media, obviously, because that's what controls all the movements nowadays. Uh, when it's brought up on social media, it's basically saying, here, we're just going to make these people look bad and there's no other differing opinion that can change it, which is absolute bullcrap. So what that's that do? It makes sponsors not want to stick with them. When it makes sponsors not to stick with them, then they're kind of forced to change it. It all goes back to this idea of America being a corporately controlled government. And this is why, okay, because you get people that aren't even close to Native American heritage, not even close to any of this, going in here and completely changing and controlling the system by just typing a few words into their stories on Instagram, okay? And the sponsors have to cave to it. What are they going to do? Sponsor somebody that now everybody thinks is racist? No. No, they don't. And and it also completely shits on the democracy. Because like 99% 99 of these people don't even think that this is a problem. Don't even care. Want to focus on bigger issues. How about the climate change? How about the economy? How about the fact that we're still in the middle of a pandemic? Okay? And you're still going to want to do this. So... And then this 1%, but no, this 1%, this 1%, we gotta go on our Instagram stories, type it up, oh, now, now it's a big problem, we gotta go over Twitter, now it's a huge problem. Now it's a huge problem, because now that the 1% is completely overrunning everything, and now shitting on the democracy that this country is founded on. Again, tying it back to a corporately controlled thing where just the 1% controls everything and fucking shits on them. And, I mean, I mean, this is, this is just complete. Okay, again, so, I just want to reiterate. I do not think that the names, okay, first of all, I do not think that the mascots, chants, face paints, whatever the hell you want to call it, are necessarily good. They are most of the time probably racist. This is only about the names. I think the names have more to do with the sport, the team, than you actually think. Because it's heritage. People now have to have hats, shirts, jackets, gloves, souvenir baseballs, pins, all this stuff gone. Gone to time. Because they decided to change the name. Because people that weren't even part of the Native American race decided to be needed to be changed. Now, I'm not saying it shouldn't have been changed. Probably shouldn't have even been a name in the first place. But now is too late to do it. Maybe you take away, change some of the mascots, change the logo, but the name. Should have stayed. This goes for the Washington change. It goes for the Cleveland change. It goes for any future changes. This is not the biggest issue that we need to be facing right now, people. It can wait. It can be dismissed. So how about you just calm the fuck down and let America do its job. Let these baseball teams play. Let the football teams play. Let the kids play. And... When we see something that needs to be changed, we're going to change it because that's how our democracy works. We see something needs to be changed. We advocate for it. It happens. It's shown to be proven to work. So let's continue to do it, shall we? And that's all I had to say tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.